MLB The Show Tips, is Ted Williams the greatest player in MLB The Show 16? We know he can slug and he can hit long home runs, but in this video I want to show you some highlights of his defense that may change your mind about how you feel about him. We picked him up in Battle Royale, he was in my diamond round, and we're going to take a look at his hitting stats, his power numbers, but first let's focus on the green categories, the fielding. 73 fielding, 67 arm strength. 76 arm accuracy, 66 reaction. And of course, when you're fielding and playing out there in the outfield, you need some speed. He's only got 56. So that's what I'm really gonna focus on for the first part of this video. See what he can do here. An easy pop out. fly here. Yeah. Every outfielder in MLB The Show 16 should make this catch. And we're gonna start testing his range here. Here's one tailing away to his right, sticks out the hand, snags it. This one is over the shoulder. So far, his speed is not a problem. But on this one, Ellsbury hits one to the alley. Could he have cut it off with a little more speed? I think so. Maybe if he had like 75 or above speed. Doesn't matter. There, a chopper over to third here. A little weird play, but watch Williams pick up the ball. And what does he do? I max throw. He stares at the crowd. And then his arm is not strong enough to get to second base before Prime Reyes slides in. All right, we have a diving attempt right here. Did he need to dive? I don't know, but he does miss it. Keeps it in front of him, though. There's a double there. But he does get Swinging redemption to his left. Gap in left center, and he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Superman Ted Williams, the Hall of Famer, just puts it all on the line. Unreal catch. Now, you could argue that if he was faster, that wouldn't have had to be so spectacular. And I agree. Sometimes these diving plays are a result of him not having enough speed to get there in a comfortable manner anyway. But remember, you're not getting him for the fielding. He's not going to kill you, but he may hurt you. But it's the hitting that make up for it. The great contact power and that 98 vision. He'll touch almost every ball in the strike zone. Even this his pop flies are absolutely majestic. Here's a deep, deep fly ball to almost the warning track in Camden Yards. We're in Fenway here, his home ballpark. Look at this one. I thought this one had a chance. The outfielders kept going back and back. Another warning track. Just pop-up. These are just pop-ups. Of course, he can drop the hammer, hit it down the line, which he does here, and he'll chug into second without a problem. 56 speed, no issue. So he's still on second base. This is Pablo Sandoval. It's a weak chopper to second. Gets by him. I'm going to send Williams home. Let's test the speed. Can he get in there in time? He does. A stronger throw from the right fielder might have helped. All right, Williams back up at the plate. High, deep. And he goes 400 feet into right field. Ted Williams for you guys. Ted Williams right there. Lefty pitcher. Just got under it. Sweet part of the bat. Absolutely destroys it. And so you know what you're going to get when it comes to Ted Williams. The power game. The hitting. It's that fielding. Is he worth it with that arm and with that speed? It's a tough decision, especially when you have all those tickets on the line and you want to spend it in the captain store to get a Williams or maybe an Albert Pujols Prime. Good luck, MLB The Show tips. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more all season long.